Hello Superherd and welcome back to Splatoon 2 and today we're going to be continuing on with more online mode fun. There should be a brand new weapon added to the game that we can go ahead and check out from Sheldon. There should be a brand new paintbrush. Now we've seen the paintbrush in the game before, but we haven't played it yet and everybody's super excited about it. You can see it over here on the right. So let's go ahead and check that out. We have the fun selection of weaponry. Of course, I don't need to hear about it. How about we hurry up here? We can, of course, go into each weapon in detail once we show them off, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the weapon showcases so far. I'm recording, like, way ahead of schedule. Like, I'm recording this episode six. I'm probably gonna record episode seven after this. As I'm recording this, episode three just went out an hour ago. So, <laughs> I've been loving the game so much, so I, just, I can't help myself. And every video has been, like, a half an hour plus, so I don't, like, want to drown you guys with Splatoon content, but I just love it so much. So there's actually multiple uh, brushes out right now. Interesting, you see I still have a lot more weapons locked, but if we take a look at the two brushes we have right now, we had the ink brush, which is the new DLC one. I guess this one maybe was already available because I swear that we went against some brush players before this weapon released. So maybe they were playing with the Octo brush and we just saw somebody with the ink, like then they released the ink brush. So, I think we'll go ahead and buy the ink brush and we'll show that off today. We're not doing every weapon in order, but hopefully we can buy them all eventually. I would, would, did want to see the weapon details. So the ink brush is a super light brush weapon that lets you ink your way forward with blistering speed. It's not terribly strong, but you can make up for that by pairing the light that lightning speed with a splat bomb to confound your opponents. Very cool. A splash down will further stir up the front line. So I put this set in the hands of those who like to disrupt the battlefield. Okay, so we'll give this a shot. I honestly don't know how good I'll be with this one, because honestly, I've never used it myself. I know people who have, but and I've gone against it, but I've never used it myself. We're gonna go ahead and equip that and give it our best shot. Hopefully, it's nice and fun. Thank you, I know you'll give it a good home. Remember, simply press equip. Okay, very cool. So if we uh, head out then, it has a splat bomb, and then it had, um, what was its power? Let's go ahead and check that out. We'll go in and do our equip. And I figure I might buy some new clothes in today's episode, because I've been earning up coins quicker than I thought. But let's see, uh, if we go to our weapon, and we get an info, we have the splashdown. Okay, so it's the same one as we showed off with the uh, splatter shot. We get the splash shot, splash shot weapon. Should we buy new clothes now? You know what, yeah, sure. Hey, Judd, or no, Jelfonzo, you're not Judd. <laughs> okay, there's some nice shirts here. So one thing I actually didn't realize about this game is I thought that maybe when you bought all this, you know, clothes out of the store, it would just refill with some more. Apparently that's not the case. You have to wait until like the next day for there to be more. At least as some of you guys were telling me. So if we do do a spending spree with all of our coins, it'll probably be more focused on weapons. So I don't know if we should still do a spending spree or not. Of course, you can weigh in your opinion, but I want to try on some stuff. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, these are really good shirts this time around. Sometimes I'm like 50-50 on it, but these are some really good shirts this time. I think I like this one the best. I wish we maybe had like a different color variation of it, but I think we'll go for this. It says ink recovery up. It doesn't take me too long to earn up, you know, a thousand coins, so I'm not really too worried about that. We'll give this a shot. Ink recovery might be pretty good for something like the ink brush. Once again, I don't know too much about the ink brush. If we move over to here, though, do I really want to switch out my cool shades? Probably not, but okay. I don't really like those glasses. I don't like that hat. I'm not really a big fan of the face masks. What even is this? Fake contacts. I think it's supposed to be for my eyes, but I have the black iris, so I don't see them. That's really weird. Yeah, I just don't see anything there, so maybe that's just sort of like a weird effect. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about that. The cool hat, the hat's really cool, but I think we, we got what we want. I love the music in that area. There's Sheldon. Now, I could go ahead and buy some shoes. Maybe I might buy some shoes for later because these shoes are really cool. They're what I have already, just a different color variation, and I sort of like that because, you know, maybe what I'm wearing doesn't exactly fit with my outfit. This might too, which I'm totally into the fashion of this game. Totally into the fashion for sure. Just also gives us something to level up in today's video. <laughs> I just love it when we have a cool looking setup. So there's, yeah, like once again, it's owned. So I don't think that uh, we'll get anything replacing that until tomorrow or maybe until the hour, like the even hour, and maybe they cycle through the maps. They also cycle through the clothes. I'm not really sure how that works. Finally, if we go to our friend over here. Hey, Jum. We should be able to, let's see, do we have our order? Let's see, because I ordered something that looked really good, so I even got Spike to help out, but we couldn't find exactly what you asked for. It's pretty close though. These shoes are 15,000! Whoa, okay, that's a lot. I don't think I want to buy them though, but those are some cool looking shoes. I didn't think they'd be that much. Like everything we've bought has been like 1,000, 2,000. I think I'll hold off. They were cool looking shoes, but I'm sure I'll be able to get them later. Wowee. 
Okay, so I think we're good. We have our ink brush. Let's go ahead, head online, and do what we can in some normal play. Next episode, though, stay tuned to the next episode. We'll be doing some ranked. I'm doing this episode first, though, because I wanted to warm up see some different strategies. And I, I don't want to go into ranked with just a splatter shot and splatter shot junior. I figured I'd mix in something else to see if we got anything. But we got more eye towers and sturgeon shipyard. Let's get started. Okay. We look like we're doing all right. So, oh look, that person has the octo brush. Okay, very cool. So if I hold down, I can run super duper fast. So the idea with this is to really just get out there super quick. And I think it's how a lot of players, you know, with the ink brush are able to stay so persistent and consistent because they can just run back out here once they fail. You know, it's like, oh, it's no big, I just run back out here. And it has some decent range. It's more wide than it goes out far. So you can really just end up on making it so that anybody around you in your frontal range is not gonna be able to do too much. So let me go ahead and try to do this. It's a really weird weapon for me so far though. We also have multiple people with the brush. Wow, that was a good shot, you landed right on me there, dude. I'm probably gonna do that at least the first couple rounds. I gotta figure out how I wanna use it. I think I wanna go this way. I wonder if am I going faster than people who are just normally swimming? Cause that'd be pretty cool. Let me throw a bomb up there. And it does seem to use up ink pretty darn quick. But maybe I can help out this other person with the brush. I might have to, you know, pay attention to him and take after whatever he does. So vertically, I'm not doing too well there. That was really dumb of me. Uh, Cause I just really don't know how far I can shoot, especially since the splatter shot has a decent median range, it seems. Maybe just a little longer than it is short. So that's sort of a good thing about it. But let's just try to get maybe to some other places. Maybe I wanna get up into the high ground. If I look up, of course, I start going, I start, you know, shooting up higher. So that's also another thing. All right, so you don't quite see me, but I wasn't able to really get close enough. I think he has, I think he had the um, the sentry gun, whatever it's called. Oh boy. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh no, you're over there now. <laughs> oh, right on my face, jeez. Well, I have enough for my superpower now, so maybe I should just, Clear up some room, because I'm about to die. Come on, get you, get you, get double brush. I haven't gotten a single splat so far. So far, this is not really my weapon. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not hitting him there. I don't know if I'm not hitting far enough, if I'm hitting over him. I don't really know what I'm doing wrong there, because it's so hard to tell. It's just because you're just swinging like crazy. Maybe I should get closer. Like, maybe I'm just not getting close enough. Maybe if I get all up in their face, things will change up a little bit. Maybe I'm just keeping too much of a distance. Let me throw that bomb up there onto the bridge, and then go, 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 go. Come on, I was like smack him in the face with the brush. What happened there? And I guess maybe he was a little more to my left than I thought. I haven't gotten a single spot. I've done nothing worthwhile this round. And I think having two brush players isn't the best either. All right, well, go, 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 go. No, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Come on, what? Once again, I, I gotta be maybe more sneaky. I'm just trying to find out what I'm supposed to do here. But of course, if you've been using the splat brush, feel free to give me your thoughts on it. I love to hear your thoughts on the splat brush. I mean, apparently it was a very overused weapon in Splatoon 1, so maybe it was nerfed a bit. It's definitely not the easiest for covering up turf, though. Oh, go here, go here, go here, go here. Nope, definitely not close enough that time. Oh, I could hear myself hitting them, though, so I almost got a splat. So I got .5 splats this round. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh, man, I'm awful. That is really tough. Okay, so on more eight towers, and I think this might help me out a lot because there's less ground to travel and it's more just moving, moving, moving. I'm definitely the farthest ahead yet, but this person's catching up with me. So I'm gonna try to uh, make my way around. I think I need to you know, keep rushing a little more often because that seems to be getting me from point A to B really quickly. I need to be sneaky, so maybe if I go like down here and then wait for him, because this definitely seems to be more focused on splatting. Oh, go for him, go for him, go for him! Yeah, our first splat of the day! It's something. All right, so if I go this way and then go for him. Nope, I'm too far, I'm too far, I'm too far. Yes, and I just get called out because they knew I was there. So it's definitely a stealth weapon. Because, you know, of course, the one time I'm able to properly sneak up on somebody, I get them no problem. But beyond that, it's on. Um, all about that element of surprise. I can't just, you know, run up to somebody and just try to smack him like I could with like maybe the splatter shot. Ooh, oh, okay. So let me, oh, come on, darn it. Uh, it definitely feels like also like one-on-one. -on -one. There were just two people at the angle there, so I don't think like, I don't think this is a bad weapon so far. I definitely don't think it's for me, but we'll give it our best shot for sure. Here, I need to fix my camera a little bit because the motion controls are messing me up right now. Okay, so there's somebody over here, right? Yes, I see them. Uh, so we'll fill this up as much as I can, and then, hey! Oh, boy! Oh, come on! He had his armor, right? I'm pretty sure. That was definitely not good. Oof. 
this is not the weapon for me. <laughs> I mean, I'll keep doing what I can. I'll look up some tips on the Splatoon Wikipedia if I have to. But you never know, that might be helpful. Maybe I'm just missing something major about it. But for right now, I'll do a bit of janitor duty. This person, there was a person teleporting here. I guess they stopped? Hmm, okay, fill up on ink. And then, get down here. Okay, nope. Uh, who spotted you? I have no clue. Because that was a blue person, right? All right, well, the rest of my team seems to be cleaning up really well. That's good. I'm trying to use my bombs, but the brush uses up a lot of ink. A lot of ink. I did not help get that, but I did make her back up. And that's good. And once again, we have two brush players. I feel like that's a big no-no. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, he should change, but I just think that maybe that's not like a good thing like in terms of team composition. Okay, you know what? Slam and jam. Jammed and slammed. Good. So I'm gonna fall back down here because honestly, it doesn't seem like most of them are taking the normal route. Go like this, go like this, go like this, go like this. Oh, I'm not quite, no, I got him, okay. Sorry, Owen, but I gotta get some ink brush splash. So I'm doing better last turn and that's all I can ask for, right? I mean, it's literally my first time ever using this weapon. I did not use it in Splatoon 1. Somebody was saying ouch. I gotta pay attention to where they say ouch, because usually that means they got splatted there. And then there's gonna be another enemy nearby. Ooh, jump for it. Oh, man. Once again, I tried to get right up in their face, and they just moved over to the side, and that's gonna be something I just have to be aware of. But we still won. I don't think it was too much thanks to me. We should probably check how many points I have this time. We did 56.4 to 31, so that's good. <laughs> I just like how we do like a little stretching routine with it. I might switch teams to see if I can't find, actually, we did decent. That's not two of the two brush players on top. We will try another group, maybe if I can find, what's it called? Ooh, so what are we gonna get here? More ink, more bomb something. I wish I'd give you more time to see that. By the way, we'll go to a new group, see if we can't find something that doesn't have more than one brush player, just because I think that'll be helpful. But let's keep going, more regular battle. One thing I've been curious about is, is regular battle only turf war? Like I find it weird that if you wanna play something besides turf war, publicly, you have to play ranked. Like that's sort of weird to me, because it's like I feel like I can't practice those game modes before it counts. I mean, of course, I could play in custom lobbies, but I don't always have the time to do that. Sometimes it's just so much easier just to go into a public game, which I've noticed that this game has some weird matchmaking that if you guys who have added me are playing, it will end up matching me with me, with you guys without even doing anything fancy, I don't have to join your party or anything. Because a lot of you have been ending up showing up in my lobbies and in the episodes. That is super awesome because that means that some of you guys can be featured simply just by playing at the same time that I am. Which is why I tried to remember to tweet out when I am on the go. I gotta remember to do this. Because this is pretty cool. It's, it's sort of like a super speed roller, except not at all. I mean, it does have that feature, but besides that, it's completely different. Oh, that's coming for me. I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move. I saw somebody down here. Oh, not far enough, not far enough, not far enough, not far enough. I gotta move then. Oh my gosh. But well, once you get stuck in somebody else's ink, you're done. You're just done. I mean, if I could just jump out of it, I gotta use corners to my, you know, uh, advantage and try to get my way around corners a bit more. So let's get across to here. Like, is it faster to brush around or is it faster to swim around? Oh, 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 that was so weird. We were just slapping like crazy. Like at some point, I just don't feel like I'm using much strategy as much as I am. Just press the button as quickly as you can, go. Just swing that ink brush all over the place. Whoop. Okay, I made it up here, that was pretty cool. See, this guy has the uh, Gatling. That's what it's called, right? The ink Gatling? Okay. Oh, ha, ha. no. Oh, come on, I got a little bit. Nope. <laughs> I tried to turn around, but I was already like, facing the wrong way with my motion controls. That's where I don't like motion controls, but I gotta get used to it because this game works way better when you do use motion controls. Oop. So let me get back up here, because I actually liked it when we were up here. Well, I found. Okay, I'm gonna try to ink up this area so he at least doesn't get stuck. If I'm gonna end up getting stuck every five seconds, might as well help out a teammate. Okay, so that's somebody else's on our team superpower going on. I hear, yep, there he is, 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 he's chasing me though. Come on, come on, oh, I got him! See, that was good because he didn't see me. He didn't see me and then he just sort of walked closer to me. Oh jeez, oh jeez. I gotta move down, I gotta move, 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 gotta move, up. Oh man, I feel like I was so close there. I can feel the splat almost happening. I could just feel it in my splatting bones, which hopefully my bones aren't splatted. I might have to go to the doctor and stop playing Splatoon. 
I was the best platoon player, but then my bones got splatted. There we go, see, that was really good, because I was even able to get somebody out of the air, and I was a little unaware of what else was going on, because I got splatted immediately after. But then, I feel like that shows that I'm finding a little bit better positioning with everything. I'd use my bombs a little bit more, but once again, it's just so easy to run out of ink. I don't like doing that too much. Okay, ooh! He forgot about my bomb I just threw. Okay, okay. Facing up seems to help because I get a larger range, but I'm just trying to get out of his ink. And then do that. Oh, that was a good throw right there. Oh, oh come on. If, I, if you didn't land that bomb, I think I maybe would have been able to make a little more happen, but shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? <laughs> All right, let's move over this one. And get you maybe if I can. Oh no, that bomb was a little too far. They are definitely gonna win this. But hey, I tried my best. We've won some, we've lost some. We've won one game, now we're gonna be losing two. But that's not too bad for the situation, I think. Oh, I almost fell right off there. <laughs> okay, well, I feel like with each round though, I'm, I'm learning a few more strategies with the ink brush, and I've done a few things I didn't in the last round, and that's really good to me. So hopefully next round we can sort of perfect it a bit more. Okay, so let's give this another shot. Once again, everybody's using the brush the same time I do. I was playing last night to earn up level 10 for ranked, and I was like, hey, nobody's using the rush. Maybe that'll be nice for next episode. And now everybody is, so. I mean, only on my team, I guess, because they don't have any brush users. But really, I did take a look at the uh, Splatoon Lycopedia, see what they have to say. Okay, there was definitely some armor happening there. I'm gonna move back this way. We have a very thin escape route with how we're using that. But it did say to just try to terrorize and distract your opponents and then turn around and, oh, oh, that was good. That was good, using the vertical situations to my advantage is very good. But then try to, you know, build up my superpower. Of course, the superpower is always useful. I will try to get that figured out. Whoa, whoa now. Where did he go? Oh, right over here. Oh, go, 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 go. Yes, once again, using the uphill to my advantage here. If I can get up here and then somebody else got you. That's fine, that's fine, I have my superpower now. I wanna see if I can't get some people to chase me and then turn around and use the superpower. That would be good. So far, so good with this round, I like it. Okay, get across to here, and then let's charge up. Throw a bomb over that way, and I'm gonna make my way over here. We're actually doing some great coverage. I don't see the enemy team too much. They're, they're sort of staying to their quarters, like I see you over here. And then I'm just gonna slam, jam, I got you. Maybe that wasn't the best use of it, but it was a decent use of it, because I did cover that ground again. And then, I don't wanna do that. I was gonna go over there and try to see if I can't get anything done, but I don't think it's a good idea right now. Instead, if they're not gonna come out, I might as well, you know, help us win by filling up the ground as much as I can. Is this inkable? It's not. Hmm. And I'm just gonna try to be as sneaky as possible while also trying to be as consistent as possible. Yeah, I guess they're not really, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. See, I definitely never wanna be below them. Definitely never ever below them with the ink brush. I need to be able to use positioning to my exam or to my advantage, not example. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, let's get back over here. But this, I'm actually turning around on this weapon. I was like, I don't know how I like it, but now it's pretty fun. It's just about also, you know, not being outplayed, which was constantly happening. Okay, so I probably shouldn't be down here. These sectors where there's just sort of a lower ground, I don't want that. Oh, let's fill this up. Does this count? It does not. Of course, my points are gonna be incredibly high because it's just simply difficult to uh, fill up the ground like this. And I'm, oh, let me help out that person. I saw that, I saw that. There's somebody over here. Um, oh, oh, leave my turf alone, you jerk, you bully. Okay, so it was good to pay attention to the map like that. I decided, I was like, hey, I haven't been seeing too many of the enemies. Maybe somebody snuck by and I was correct. And I went back and I think I just helped a lot because the person who was trying to stop them got taken out as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I should have just done my slam down there. Cause I hadn't. Oh, well, I think we still won no matter what. Let's see though. Okay, yeah, not bad. Oh boy. So we definitely won that one. That was a good one. Pretty intense with everything. I'm getting it a little bit more now. It took a couple tries, but I think I'm getting really more strategies with that. I do love our outfit so far. I love the purple and yellowish green shoes. They look pretty cool. Once again, I was lower lower on the points, but I was one of the top splatters on our team at the least. I didn't get to see the enemy stats just because it goes by so darn quick. But good, we've already leveled up this clothing. Some people are telling me that you can actually go to the guy we went to at the beginning of today's episode with the $15,000 shoes, and you can unlock more slots. So if you enjoy a 
a piece of clothing a lot, you can unlock more slots for it to get more abilities. So I might look into that at the end of today's episode because I'm gonna need good stats if I want to move into um, online ranked, which we'll be doing in the next episode. Honestly, I might upgrade my hero suit because I liked how that worked with the splatter shot. So I might do that kind of combo. I just wanna see how things work. Okay, we're a cool shade of orange. I love how, I feel like there's more color shades in this one, but maybe I'm wrong. I know that the color shades change when you're doing a Splatfest, which the next Splatfest is sort of weird. I know it's only been confirmed in Europe so far, but apparently the Europe confirmed Splatfest is going to be ketchup versus mayonnaise. I don't really know how I feel about that one. I'm not gonna spoil what I'll choose, uh, just because I think that's sort of the fun of it, right? I don't know if that's gonna be the one for America. Oh man, I tried to sneak up on him and he just, he was a quick-witted squid, you know? <laughs> He just was able to go into his jetpack and get distance, and that's exactly what you want to do against somebody like me right now. That was good on him. I really don't know what I could have done there. I guess just vanquish him faster. Uh, Let's move over this way. Yeah, I don't see too much going on over there, so I might as well get on top of here, and then I know you're ouching. Okay, I didn't mean to fall all the way down here. Oh, go, 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 go. I got him. Oh, can I get you? No, I should have just... Paid attention to my super there more, I maybe could have just went right into that and taken out this guy too. But I got one person there in a, like I want to say a clutch situation. Because a clutch wouldn't tell that I did a good job. I feel like I did everything I was supposed to do. I didn't make that jump that time. It's sort of 50-50 for me when it comes to making that jump. I'm not keeping as much of my superpowers I'd like though. So maybe we can get a piece of clothing that does that. Oh, oh, oh man. I didn't even know that person was there. It's the same person again. I like their headphones though. Let's move this way. And let me make my way out quicker, because I'm not rolling as much as I probably should, once again. Oh no. I didn't know there was that much of a gap there. <laughs> well, this round's not going as good as last time, but we still have a minute left to turn that around. We could still win. I mean, it's not exactly looking great for us right now, but, oh, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. Avenge my friend, I did, I can't believe I died there. Well, okay, it wasn't to that guy, it was to the other guy. Ugh, I need to roll out, ready? Just like this, I move so quickly when I'm doing this. And we do cover turf this way, so it's always good to do. I don't like how you can use up ink even though you're on your own ink. Like I'm just running and inking over ink that's already there. How is it using up more ink? I don't know. But this person totally got me. It looks like dualies are a good thing to use against a brush because I feel like this isn't the first time somebody's been using dualies and has taken me out a lot. So maybe dualies is like a decent counter. I should try to just steer away from this person. Hmm. Let's throw that out there. And I'll try to brush this up. The problem, the problem is that I landed right into their ink because I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh man. So I've seen some good stuff, some bad stuff. Once again, I can never seem to get on a team where I'm the only brush user. I think that's happened literally every single game today. And I don't like that. I feel like that's also a big problem. Oh, once again, the moment I'm there to attack, they pull their jetpack out. Did they even see me? Or was that just total chance? Am I being unlucky? I don't know. I have no clue. Oh, that bomb was gonna get him. <laughs> Maybe not. We did awful that round, but we did pretty good last round. Ugh, it's, a, it's always a back and forth, isn't it? Can't just have consistency. Next round, next round will be better. We haven't won on Moray Towers yet, have we? No, we have. It just wasn't really me that won. So hopefully next round we can get Moray Towers and I can do better, because I just did awful. Okay, so we're on Moray Towers, still in the same lobby, so with anything changes, I don't know. But hey, you just gotta try, right? So let me go ahead and like, do a bit of that. Cause it's just, figuring out how to properly cover turf with this is pretty tough too. Like I think that's a big part of the learning curve. I mean, you guys can let me know, maybe you are sick with the ink brush. You can let me know some tips and tricks or, you know, let me know, maybe you just struggle with covering up the turf too. And that's just not something I should be focusing on all that much. I am low on ink. I'm just gonna sit right here. And then, oh, are you over there, sir? Are you over there? I saw you. Once again, I'm, I have the upground, so as long as I can just maintain that as much as possible. Oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. I don't know where they went though. That's the problem. They could be anywhere. They're right here, they're right here, they're right here, they went up there, they went up there. Oh boy. Nope. Ah. Oh, that stinks. Oh man. Oh, they have the, um. what's it called? They have the uh, Salmon Run shirt on. I've been wanting to show that off too. I mean, I'm waiting until, you know, like I said earlier, that the episode three went out as of recording this. Okay, I didn't even see you there. 
You're the same person who got me before. Why did I go like that? I was hoping that they wanna do what they did, but they didn't do it. So what am I supposed to do? Not that. Oh, oh, no, come on! I just wanna do good. Oh, well, I gotta play good. I gotta not get wrecked. But I wanna see how my video on the hero suit does before I make any videos on any specific piece of armor. Cause I don't really know how people will like that. You know, if it'll just be like, oh, this is, you know, not as important enough of a thing to make a video on. Cause I know weapons are pretty important and that's why it's worth making a video on them. Excuse me? Get out of here, get out of here. I'm not hitting them at all. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I got you that time. You weren't the person I needed to get, but hit. Yep. Oh, you survived, you little stinker. <laughs> Come on now. But yeah, they had the dullies too, I think. Yeah, that was the person who had the dullies last time that was getting me a lot. And they just sort of rolled out of it right at the last second. I'm glad I was still able to get them, but stinks that I wasn't just able to straight up uh, take them out with it. Ooh, you don't see me seeing you, do you? No. Oh, there you are. There you are. You tried to go up that wall. It ain't happening. So we got about a minute left to turn this around. And honestly, we're making some decent advancements. Oh, you're going up that wall, huh? I don't think I can follow you from there, so I feel like I need to skedaddle. Because I don't want to be in a situation where I'm running into the ink for literally no reason. But I don't want to be in a situation where I'm trying to get uphill and they just plop down and vanquish me. Splat me. Whatever you want to say. Oh, and you over here. See, we got some people chasing you. I helped out. Hopefully. I hope I just wasn't, you know, and then I'm just stealing something. Come on, come on. No! Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. Fill this ink up. I'm almost at my superpower. So if I can fill this ink up and just be wary of where they are. I should be able to be fine with it. I don't know where my teammates are. I'm just hoping that they're more up there. It looks like they are, so I'm just gonna try to keep everything as well going as we possibly can. Oh. And if we only have a couple seconds left, I'm gonna go ahead and just sort of slam something in hopes that it just covers up more ink. And I definitely got a lot more points this time. Last time I only got like 400 points. This time I was pushing like 650. Okay, we definitely lost. But I was able to, like, I was the one focusing on holding the center and look at how pink it is. You know, it's it's okay, right? I didn't do that bad, did I? Oh no, okay, I didn't get the worst score. Okay, it was a 3v4. That's not too bad, right? I hope not. Okay, back on, on this place, the uh, whatever it's called. I will do what I can here. I'm gonna sneak around the side. Before we go any farther, fill up on ink. Hmm, I see them down there, but do they see me? because I don't want to just run out and you know do silly stuff. But I might as well fill up this stuff while I'm waiting. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, I thought I was gonna have more of a high ground advantage, but then he went up and I just, oh, and they just, they always use a dip pack right away. I can keep that in mind, maybe that'll help me. That person got ouched. So am I gonna win this? Am I gonna lose this? We'll have to see, because we've lost two in a row now. So if I could win, one, so it's not three losses in a row. That'd be fantastic and a whole lot less embarrassing. So let's try to accomplish that. Oh boy. Yeah, get him for me. Protect me, protect me. I thought you were gonna hop down and then you didn't. Stop being so unpredictable. All right, I'm gonna throw the bomb right there. And, you know, you can throw your bombs all day. I can throw mine. I don't think it's gonna accomplish too much though. All right, so I almost have my superpower. So let's go ahead and try to accomplish that too. Oh, here you are, here you are. Oh, and then go over here and then go and slam. Too bad, I didn't want to, wait, why did I move in the air? Because I was above the ledge and then I fell down to it. If I landed on the ledge, I would have been in a perfect opportunity just to hop over there and take him out. I don't like that. You just position yourself more in the air? Like, I don't know what happened. Oh gosh, so um, you got him, good. But this definitely isn't my kind of weapon, I don't think, at least for right now. I think that hopefully over time, I can maybe improve with everything, and that way, you know, I can do whatever I need to do with anything. Oh boy. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Oh man, the jetpacks get me every single time. And you think, okay, the goal then, if the jetpack gets me every time, is to run away. But the jetpack is really good at chasing people who are running away. <laughs> it's just like, come on, what are my options? What are my options? Oh, oh, I didn't see you there. Maybe I'm just not in my element today either. That might also be an issue. I mean, no matter what, I'm still playing badly, but there's usually a reason to, you know, why somebody might, might be playing bad. Just at how there is a reason why somebody might not be playing well. I mean, might actually be playing well. You know what I'm saying. Apparently I can't speak today either. So, can't play Splatoon, can't speak. I got you, that's nice. What, or did I get you? It didn't say splatted. 
and then I immediately get splatted, so I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about this weapon. I just think at the end of the day, it's not my kind of weapon, but I, who knows. Let's get across to here. And I, I saw you swimming around in there, buddy. I saw you swimming around, but I don't have any ink left, so not much I could do about it. Go, 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 got you, that's good. Jumping seemed to help. Oh, get you, get you, get you, get you. Okay, I got two splats towards the end. That's something that improves it a little bit. I think I'm gonna go for one more round. I just wanna go for one more, one round where I don't do awful would be fantastic. Wow, we were so close to winning. Oh man. That, should, that might be one of my closest games yet. Oh, that was a cool helmet that one character had. I haven't seen that yet. Okay. I gotta go for one more. Back on Moray Towers. We did win last time, did we? We did not. So, we need to win a game on Moray Towers. Maybe this is my opportunity to. Let me get like down. Okay, maybe not like that. How about a little bit more like this? Yep, and then do this, and now I can transition over to this one, and that's how you get up over here real quick. Okay, so I see you over there. I tried to throw my bomb at you. Didn't quite work out, but hey, that's okay. Ooh. Ooh, ha, 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 yeah, see, that's what you're supposed to do with this darn thing. Oh gosh, you know I'm here, though. You know I'm here, though. You know I'm here, though. No, there's too many people. <laughs> but hey, I got somebody to teleport to me. I don't know if that's a good thing. Well, my camera's like freaking out. That person was invisible. Don't know what's up with that. But that was a decent start. I, I, I snuck around the corner, waited for him to pop up, and boom, boom, bam, got him. So it seems like it is still faster to swim, but obviously a lot of the times, you're not gonna have the opportunity to swim. I actually ran right into that person, but I was just trying to run away from the jetpack person. Jetpack seems to be such a good counter to this. I mean, really, I, I feel like that's what I need. Advice taking care of the jetpack people. Because right now, I'm sort of out of, out of ideas. Let me go ahead and do this. This hell's filling up. Oh, get you, get you, get you, get you. You're trying to fill up that zip line. I'm not gonna let it happen. See, this person, I can see that they're shooting at me. Oh, no, nice aim, though. I feel like, can I pull backwards when I'm on there? Can I just turn around? Because if that's the case, oh, man, he, he was aiming up and firing. I didn't think, I was like, oh, man, there's no way he can land that shot. I underestimated, I underestimated, I can't say that word, apparently. I underestimated that person. Oh. Let me get up here. Okay, no, because there's somebody behind me. Who? Somebody, okay, somebody got him. Somebody got him. Please leave me alone. Please. I was totally around the corner there. I mean, I guess every weapon has at least a little bit of splash damage. I mean, they're shooting liquid. Well, let's give it another shot. I mean, maybe I should be doing a bit of teleporting here. I don't know though, because they are getting taken out as soon as they teleport in. I don't like that. This is a what? This is, oh no, I didn't. I didn't. Gosh darn. <laughs> okay, so I think they're right there though, so I might be able to just slam down on them. No, they're not, they're on the other level below this. But they haven't, you know, completely invaded our spawn area. So I might just go ahead and fill that up. Yep, get you like that. No, I started well. This person has been like the bane of my existence. This person consistently getting me nonstop. There's always one person that's like that for me. That I just, I can't beat that one person because of that I'm gonna lose like every round. Oh boy. Get you, get you, get you. Nice, okay, so I got that person. And I got you too, so that's good right there. Sorry, no onions for me. Let's get over here. And, uh, yeah, they really turned this around on us. I think the best thing I could do is just go over here and slam down, maybe get a little bunch of ink, and I couldn't do it in time. It doesn't really get you that much coverage. You can see it on the bottom there, in the middle, it's just like where I did it, which is pretty cool. But another loss on more eight hours is just not gonna happen, because that's gonna be it for today. Oh man. Well, definitely not my kind of weapon. Some decent uses of it from time to time, but overall I'm just pretty awful with it. I would be really curious though to try it on some different game modes that aren't turf takeover. I'd like to see that on some tower control or something similar. I think that maybe I could do something different with it. The unfortunate thing is, is that I'm bad with the weapon, right? So obviously the last thing I wanna do is bring it on to ranked, but I would love to practice it in something besides Turf 4. So it's like, why not bring different game modes to Turf 4? Cause there's only been this for Turf 4. I'm only Turf 4 for regular battles. It's just really weird to me. Either way, let's go and talk to you. Cause I'm not gonna buy your $15,000 shoes, but what I will do is see if you can't upgrade some of my clothes. So if I go to 
Increase slot slash reroll. Sorry, chum, but I'm stupid busy right now. What? When can I do that? Use ability chunks. You ever use an ability chunk to craft a new ability? No, I didn't think so. If you have enough ability chunks, you can slap whatever ability you want into a piece of gear you want. You can even put abilities in gear that's already full of abilities. The original abilities turn into ability chunks that can use you can use later, so you should give it, okay. So I can do this. Um, What do I want to improve then? Because this doesn't have enough slots. Like I want to increase its slots, but it's telling me he's too busy for that, huh? But this right here, this has like special power up and then I think ink saver. Yeah, it has special power up and ink saver. I think I'd rather have, oh, I can't change that ability. But I don't have any of these chunks. How do you get chunks then? Interesting, I'm not really aware of that. Hmm, if anybody knows how I get chunks, I would love to hear about that. But for now, I think this is where to finish things off. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Splatoon 2. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra Brush so I know you've watched the video and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see any more like it, feel free to click on any of the ones on your screen right now or subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.